you give the big sales presentation, management briefing, or all hands overview, and then you wait to see how you did. Smiles or frowns? Thunderous applause or polite applause? Objections or nods of agreement? Speakers often have a presentation with a mixed perception of what went well and what needs improvement. Clients frequently come to us for coaching and presentation skills, but when we probe by asking them about their goals or evaluations on past presentations, clients often seem puzzled. They really don't know what they do well or where they need help. Either they themselves or someone else has simply made them aware that their skills are lacking. Specifics escape them, yet they're investing substantial dollars to correct a problem they haven't yet identified. So you may want to consider these five ways to measure your own success as a presenter before you call in a coach. Take, for example, your last presentation. First, what was the outcome? Did you motivate the listener to take action? Did, you, did they sign off on the project? Did they approve your budget? Did they buy your product or service? Did they support your cause? Did they cooperate with you on your initiative? A second measure. Did you at least build a strong case? Okay, so maybe you can't control all the circumstances and thus your presentation isn't solely responsible for their action or their decision. But given the circumstances outside your control, did you build a strong case? Did you receive feedback from the audience that you did make a strong case and that had it, been for, had it not been for other circumstances, they would have acted favorably? If so, a good measure of an effective presentation is a strong structure, a persuasive case. A third measure, did your, did, did your presentation advance your career? What is their perception of you and your abilities? How well did you deliver the presentation? Maybe the statistics didn't lend themselves to a strong argument. Maybe the, the timing was wrong for a favorable decision. Maybe the competitors had a technological advantage. But did you tell your story in the best light possible? That is, with substance and style. Did you end the meeting with a no decision, but in the eyes of the audience, how well did you do with the facts and the circumstances that you had? Number four. Did you decrease your preparation time without losing peak performance? In other words, was your preparation time excessive? Consider your general process in preparing a presentation. Do you have a step preparation process? Productivity should be a concern to you. And five, a fifth measure. Did you improve your personal best? Just as a marathoner, who often competes against their personal best rather than against competitors. How do you feel about the presentation? Confident rather than nervous? Did you use all the techniques at your disposal to clarify points, such as adding the finishing touches like quotations, analogies, metaphors, mnemonics? Did, you, did your time management and facilitation skills enable you to include all your key points that you intended? Was the audience fully engaged? How do you know? As with writing, racing, or raising money, presentations, both outcome and process, deserve analysis. Take a few minutes to, evalu to evaluate yours after each presentation. The key to continual improvement is continual analysis and evaluation. If you use other measures, that I just mentioned here. Add those comments in the section below.